makes this area so special for growing red, red grapes and making red wines? I think it's a, a very interesting area because of the native uh, local grape varieties, some among the, the best and, uh, recognized in Italy, and uh, because of the winemaking method technique that uh, go back, uh, trace back to, to history, making wine through the dry grapes. Putting all together these factors, it make uh, the area of Verona in particular, but in general the Veneto, one of the most interesting areas in the world for personalized and very peculiar wines. You specialize in these indigenous <coughs> yes. grape varieties, Corvina, <coughs> Rondinella, yeah, and Molinara, Rondinara, and, yes. and, and <coughs> these are grape varieties that aren't found uh, generally outside of the Veneto. I like history, so I go back to what uh, Pliny, uh, the, the Roman writer, mm -hmm. uh, said uh, uh, 2,000 years ago, that uh, the Veronese grape varieties are so in love of their own native place. Uh, if we try to transplant outside the original area, the, the vine crime and don't make any good fruit. Amarone is totally made with the dry grapes. What we do is uh, we pick now in the uh, middle of October, selecting the best bunches, what happened during this uh, time? The grapes lose between 35 and 40 percent of the original weight, creating big concentration. So you get this impression of sweetness yes. in a dry wine. Yes, absolutely. Let's taste your Mazzano 2000. 2000 yes. I like to start with the color because I think mm -hmm. that the color of Amarone is a, a ruby, perfect ruby that uh, that. Uh, is enjoyable to, to, to see. Then the nose, you know. You have this intriguing nose of uh, cherry with a, a touch of uh, vanilla, mm -hmm. but uh, in the same time, you have this uh, illusion of sweet. When you, you have a good example of Amarone, as uh, uh, I think is uh, Mazzano is one of the best examples, it's like when you open a jar with the, with the cherries preserved into mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. alcohol. Immediately you have this uh, sensation of alcohol in the cherry, but uh, not in a clear way, much more, let's see, in a very complex way, spicy and, and uh, richness. Anybody that really like wine and that the chance to taste the wines, don't need really even to taste the wine, just the nose present the wine himself. And, uh, is in, in the glass Amarone that tell I'm here. <laughs> Enjoy me. 